travelers, my name is Juliana. My name is Martin. And this week we're taking you guys to a city that is super important to me. We're in Sacramento, California. Now Sacramento is a place that's super special to me because I grew up in this area my whole life. And trust me, I've heard from so many people outside of Sacramento that think that there's nothing to do here. We're in the middle of California. It's just a bunch of farms and that could be further from the truth. Actually, it's one of the best kept hidden gems of California. And I highly recommend you guys visit. So today in this video, I'm gonna be changing your perspective of Sacramento and showing you that it doesn't suck. It is an awesome place to visit with so much to do. We have a jam-packed itinerary for a full day here in Sacramento. So let's get started. First up is this one that is behind me. This is the famous Tower Bridge. So whenever they show in a film or in a series that is Sacramento, they show this because it's so iconic for the city. It, this beautiful yellow tone. This bridge rises, so it sounds a bell whenever there's a ship coming, letting you know so you have to leave the bridge because it goes up. Where are we now, Martin? Uh, we are walking through the Sacramento River Trail. This trail is 5.5 miles and it's so pretty. We're like just next to the river and it's just an open space with a lot of trees and it's beautiful. starving and it is time to get some brunch in our system. Lucky for us, Sacramento has so many great farm to fork restaurants and one that is highly recommended by many local chefs is bacon and butter. We are so lucky to be in this area of California where agriculture is just surrounding us. We have some of the freshest ingredients and this place really focuses on working with those local farmers to get some of the best ingredients for their meals. They have a lot of seasonal dishes, they're all made from scratch and we're going to have a very good and hearty breakfast. I ordered the sausage sandwich, Martin got the biscuits and gravy and bacon or something like that and we are ready to fuel up. This place though is very busy, so be prepared to wait. They open at 8 a.m. We got here around 8.30 and there's already a line, so be prepared to be on their waiting list for a little bit, but trust me, it is worth the wait. walking through Sacramento is there are trees everywhere. It is actually known as the city of trees. I think it got its name in like 1855. And there's so many beautiful green areas, little gardens, lots of art installations as you walk around. So such a fun place to take a little stroll and luckily here in the summertime in the morning, the weather is perfect. Next stop for us is the Capitol building, right here. Now Sacramento is the capital of California. So many people from out of state think it's Los Angeles or San Francisco, but nope, it is right here in the center of California. In a normal day or in a normal year, you can go inside and actually there is a museum, but now because of the pandemic, it's closed. I actually went there a couple times as a kid growing up, right. we would go for field trips here. It's located on the Capitol Mall, which is just this stunning street that actually ends with the bridge, the yellow bridge we showed right. earlier, right there in the background. The dome looks so good from inside. I already look a picture, but well, it's a shame we cannot get inside. Yeah, but instead what we were doing is we're just walking around the outside of the building because there are some really gorgeous gardens around here. We haven't been yet in the back, but That's there's right. some really beautiful areas. Even though it's not open for tourists, still a good spot to explore anyway. Capital, we used a scooter to scoot our way to Old Sacramento. This riverfront district is a historic landmark with gold rush era buildings, cobblestone streets, and a horse-drawn carriage. Spend your time popping in and out of the gift shops, visiting a shooting gallery, or satisfying your sugar tooth at one of the many candy shops. We're at Candy Heaven, and it's really the heaven of candies. So, <laughs> Juliana's getting crazy a little bit. So, so far we have four, but probably it's gonna be full at some point. <laughs> Do you 
ever just not think your outfit through and then you realize you look like a worker of the place you're going? Like, you know, going to Target with a red shirt and khakis. That's how I feel right now in my overalls at the California State Railroad Museum. We're gonna just embrace it. I work here now, apparently. <laughs> this museum is an amazing spot to go in California. You can see so many old trains on display and it is such a great place to come to cool down in the heat as well. It is just $12 per person to enter and we're gonna spend a couple of hours here. So let's get to looking around. Episode, I wanted to give a huge shout out to Fred Tetriot, who is our Patreon of the episode. Thank you so much, Fred, for all of your support. It's thanks to people like you that we're able to do what we do. I was starting to get low energy, so we are back in old Sacramento. We went to Danny's Mini Donuts, which is very famous here for their mini donuts. I'm sure you guessed it. They have cinnamon sugar, vanilla, chocolate, and powdered sugar. So let's see if it's worth the hype. Oh my god. You make them fresh in front of you. They're so crispy, so good. Highly recommend. Another thing that you have to see in Old Sacramento is the Delta King. This is a steamboat that actually is at a hotel and also a restaurant. If you have any time over here, uh, come to the restaurant to drink, to eat something. And you also have another view of the Tower Bridge of Sacramento. you have to check out the Crocker Art Museum. My classes always used to come here growing up as a field trip and it is such a cool art museum. There is so many different styles and mediums of art here. You could truly spend a good three or four hours here. Uh, we bought our tickets online because during the pandemic you do need to make a reservation for your time slot so just keep that in mind. It's definitely a must see when you come to Sacramento. game in a museum it's called that's me when or that's you when where you see a piece of art and then you say that's you when you were doing this or i don't know that's me when i'm angry with you i don't know <laughs> that's me before my coffee that's me when i'm watching the neighbors spying on them seeing what they're doing outside <laughs> <laughs> video is Drake's The Barn. Now we know this is technically West Sacramento. We are just feet away from Sacramento County. However, this is totally worth the drive over the bridge because this place is home to a local brewery called Drake's. They have awesome beer and food. Plus the establishment itself is pretty cool. Obviously they have this wooden barn. They have tons of places to sit out. They have little misters so you can stay cool. It's a fun vibe, there's music playing and we're gonna go check it out. Also fun fact, I actually used to work like literally right where I'm standing a couple years ago before this actually turned into uh, the barn owned by Drake's. It used to be like a food truck area and I would work at the info stand <laughs> handing out information. It is no longer in business but so weird to be back and see this is here. So <laughs> let's go try it. representative of Sacramento, I would recommend you to go to a sports game. I know the most famous team of Sacramento is the Kings, that is basketball, but also they have the Rear Cats in baseball, and they also have the Sacramento Republic that we're gonna watch tonight. Sacramento Republic is being approved to be the new MLS expansion team, but because of the pandemic, that's on standby. Anyways, we're here and we're excited to see Sacramento Republic because I think it's a very, very good team that can create a new rivalry in the north of California. 
exploring around Sacramento with us. Make sure you subscribe to Martin's channel. He makes the same videos as me. En español. And also make sure you subscribe here because we are making so many videos all around the United States. A lot of good videos are coming. And I'm trying to hit 100,000 subscribers. So every subscription means the world to me. We'll see you guys in our next video. So long, travel well, and make the world your neighborhood. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Curious what camera gear we use while traveling? Want to rock some of our awesome merch? Or maybe you just want a discount with some of our favorite companies? Make sure to check out the description of this video for links to all these things and more.